Hey guys, I am here to do some initial impressions on some new wig care products that I've gotten my hands on. So recently, Leanne at the Beauty Nook introduced some Aesthetica wig care products to us that I had never heard of. I didn't even know Aesthetica made hair care products. I think she referred to them as their wet line. So I got my hands on a few. And so right here, what I've got is the, this one is the Cleanse and Clarify Wig Shampoo, and this one is the Nourish and Renew Wig Conditioner. And so what I thought I would do is I have a few wigs that need to be washed, and I thought I would wash them in these products and just give some initial impressions. Um, please keep in mind, I haven't been using these products. I should never use them yet, and I'm gonna use them today on these wigs. I'll come back and I'll let you know what I think, but, that to me is just one tiny, tiny data point here because it does take time to know whether or not wig products work or not for you. Um, you know, over time you'll sense how the wigs feel, you know, do they seem to be refreshing them and renewing the fibers or do they seem to be dragging them down? A good example of that is my experience with the John Renault line of products. Um, those were the first ones that I purchased. The marketing for John Renault is phenomenal and certainly information about them is everywhere. And so I had purchased the John Renault shampoo. I also had um, both the John Renault spray conditioner and the John Renault spray HD detangler. Um, I think the shampoo was fine. I, I didn't find anything extra special with that shampoo, but the sprays I felt really did not serve my wigs well. I felt that it added a film to my wigs in such a way that they needed to be washed a lot more often. And actually, after doing a, a lot of research on wig products, I've pretty much stopped spraying my wigs with spray condi leave-in conditioner. I don't find that they really need them. I think water often does just as good. Now, cer certainly I think there's a difference between a wig that's you know, nearing the end of its life, which I really don't have many of those because I own so many wigs. I don't wear any one wig all the time. I probably wear four different wigs a week, um, maybe five to six, it depends on the week. Like right now, I'm just in love with my soft and subtle and I do wear that one quite a bit. Girl Mono gets a lot of wear. So like this wig right here I have on is uh, Shayna by Tress Allure in the color um, Sugar Brulee. And I probably haven't worn this one for maybe a week and a half or so. She'll get more wear as it gets hot, but I don't wear this one every day. And so, you know, I don't feel the need to really wash it very often. And so that's where, you know, for me to give a really thorough review of these kinds of products, it's going to take a while because I have to, either I have to get my hands on some wigs that need washing, or I'm going to need to um, just, you know, over time as, as wigs start to need it to then um, give some updates. So take it with a grain of salt. I will give you my initial impressions though. A lot of you might know that I have been a real fan of the Belle Madame products. So I have the Belle Madame shampoo and also the balsam right here. And I love this product so much. Um, I'll, I, I'll admit, you know, I've got a bit of a bias right now toward this product because I find that it leaves my wigs just unbelievably soft after I soak them in this. And actually, I will use this product in between washings. So especially with my curly wigs, I like to play with them a lot. I scrunch them a lot. I do put product in my curly wigs, actually human hair product. I often use, I have two products that I use a lot of. One of them is this Paul Mitchell round trip. And then another is this Wee Dad um, climate control gel. Right now I'm mainly using the Paul Mitchell just because I got it first and I'm used to using it. And so sometimes what I'll find is I just need to soak a wig a little bit and get some life back into it, but it's not really dirty and doesn't need a full washing. So sometimes I'll just soak wigs in this. If I'm washing a wig and then on the soak phase of the washing, I might stick another wig in with that one just to get a little soaking. So I have a, I have a big, big love for this product. So Aesthetic is gonna have a little bit of proving to do for me um, to to make me want this one more than the the balsam, the balsam. Uh, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, a, a big difference between this Aesthetica Nourish and, Reve and Renew and the Belmadam Balsam, 
uh, is you don't wash this one out and this one calls for rinsing. After shampooing, just says two to three droplets, submerge, soak for three to five minutes, rinse thoroughly. Whereas this one doesn't have you rinse it. It also uses, it asks you to use more of this product than this one. So it'll be interesting to see how that does, but I'm gonna give you guys my best opinion. Um, you know, I don't really have, my bias is that I like the balsam because I've been using it. But other than that, I don't really have any bias. I think, if anything, I kind of want to lean toward liking the Aesthetica stuff a little more simply because it's going to be a little bit easier to get. Uh, because right now, the only place you can buy the Belmadam product is from, if you're in the United States, Continental Wigs in the UK, which I've purchased from them a number of times, and they're great. It takes a little bit longer to get here. There is a conversion rate because they do, um, all their prices are in pound sterling, and so you, it has to be converted to US dollars. So the price goes up for us in the US. Uh, from what you see from the pound sterling. Uh, Leanne um, has been trying to carry the Belmadam products, uh, but the problem is it's it's expensive for her to carry them. Shipping is very expensive for her. Uh, it takes a long time. They get held up in customs because they're liquid products and not, you know, like a wig or something. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit easier to get the aesthetic stuff, but for me, that's a, a bonus. I'd rather have something that works and deal with a little extra cost or a little extra length of time to get those things. That's my personal bias on this. Just because we spent a lot of money on our wigs, we want to take care of our wigs and make them last. And so anyway, six minutes of just talking about product is long enough. So I'm going to wash a couple of wigs in these, these things, and then I'm going to come back and just tell you what I think. So the first wig I'm going to wash is this one right here, which is my three-fourths wig that I got on eBay, and I've had it for months, and she is a little rough right now. I wear her to the gym every time I go to the gym, and so I've probably worn her to the gym six or seven times now, and prior to that, I would just kind of wear her on weekends, I wear her in a ponytail, I wear her in a messy bun, and... I've never actually washed her. She needs to be washed. Uh, so she's, you know, she's a cheaper synthetic. I paid less than $50 for her and she's very long. And so the ends are starting to get a little scraggly. Um, not terrible. I mean, she's, she's holding up really well. You can see that a little bit and she's clumping a little bit. So let's just see, you know, you can see she's tangled. I actually didn't brush her out the last time I wore her, which was yesterday. Um, so I think there's lots of tangles in her. I think this will be a good candidate to test out these products and see she's very dry feeling. The ends especially, I was really, I already showed you this, but I, I, I don't know if it comes across very well, but I was really thinking about cutting off some length on this one. Another one I'm going to wash is this Aesthetica Violet. I actually got my hands on Violet just recently, and she is um, she's kind of all over the place. Her curls aren't, I mean, just look at that. She's not doing very well right now. She, I did get her, um, not so she hasn't, I haven't done anything with her, but I'm going to wash this one too and just see what happens. She's feeling a little rough. I think she was at, she was in a wig shop. And so she's been tried on a lot. i um, been sitting, uh, you know, in the dust and in the air and just has, you know, gotten her fair share of wear and abuse just through that process. So I'm going to wash both of these and then I'm going to come back and tell you my impressions and we'll go from there. So hang tight. I will splice these two videos together. I just wanted to show you really quickly that I do have... Um, them in the water now and this does get nice and sudsy so that's kind of good I think it's you know definitely showing that it does a little something um, and so I've got both wigs in here and it is not uncommon for me to wash two wigs at once in the sink so that's what I'm doing here so just to give you a sense of and that the suds are already going down I, I decided at the last minute to do this um, but anyway it does get nice and sudsy so Hang tight for the next section. Hey guys, okay, I am back. 
with an update on my washing test with the Aesthetica products. And so I washed, actually I ended up washing three wigs in the products. I had shown you in the previous part of this video that I was doing two wigs, but I decided to do a third. So let's just talk a little bit about my initial impressions. Again, I want to reiterate, this is an initial impression video. I have not been able to use these products over any period of time yet, and so I can't tell you long term how I feel about them. So please keep that in mind as I share these initial impressions. So, you know, I talked about the, the Belle Madame products that I love and that I really, really highly recommend, and I've been using them for quite a while. Uh, so, you know, this Aesthetica line is going to be competing with something that I already like, and so I want to try to keep my mind open to that. So my first impressions on this, I love the smell of them. They have this clean, just this clean, fresh smell. I can't even tell you. I'm gonna grab my Belle Madame. Um, I can't even tell you. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a clean, fresh smell. It's not super perfumey, but it's also not devoid of any scent. It's just really a clean, fresh smell. The Belle Madame smells a little bit more perfumey or cologne, cologne-y smell. It kind of has a, a cologne kind of smell. Yeah, it smells more like perfume versus this just smells fresh. And so I, I like that. Now, I will say I love perfumes. I love essential oils. I love good smelling things. I, you know, I wear perfume or body spray every day. So I have no issues with the perfume smell and, and oftentimes I prefer a perfumey smell over something else just because I really am just, I love smells. But this smells so good, just fresh. So I like the smell a lot. Uh, and so that's kind of the first thing. If you're not a fan of strongly perfumed products, uh, this could be one to try because it isn't strongly perfumed. But if you like unscented products, this does have a scent, and so keep that in mind. Um, you know, the, it, it seemed to wash really well, it suds up really well, uh, and so all of that seemed just fine. The first wig I want to show you is my 3 fourths wig, which is what I wear with headbands. Oh, it's been sitting on the counter, so now it got all messy. but. Um, it is when I first pulled it out to wash it. I've been wearing this wig to the gym for a number of weeks. And prior to that, I was wearing her just in a ponytail or messy bun. And so she hadn't been washed for a really long time. So when I showed her in the first video, I was showing how she got real clumpy and that she wasn't, she didn't have nice flow. So I will say the flow did return. I mean, she feels really nice and she feels like, you know, she's not clumping up. A lot of these spiral curls had started to clump around themselves and they're now nice and separated. Uh, you know, I'm able to run my fingers through her great, whereas before I was really struggling with that. You know, she's a long, uh, more cheap synthetic wig because I got her on eBay for like $45. And so, you know, she's, she's always gonna have some of those cheaper synthetic kind of issues but I just love this wig so much. And so she's really come back and she smells great. I just think this is, I'm very, very pleased. Um, do I think this did better than I, the Belle Madame products? I don't, they, it did no worse though. So she definitely, now keep in mind, I really haven't washed her prior to now, but I have washed a lot of other wigs in the Belle Madame products. And so I don't think she did any worse. Now, something I did with this one that I didn't do with my, the violet that I washed, so I have violet here as well, is I didn't rinse this one. So the Belle Madame products do recommend, or the instructions tell you to soak it. So you wash it in the shampoo, you soak it in the um, Nourish and Renew, the conditioner, and then you rinse it. Whereas the Belle Madame Balsam does not recommend rinsing out. So in my test here, I rinsed one and I didn't rinse one. So this one didn't get rinsed, my headband wig, and she feels really good. And so um, she doesn't feel heavy. She doesn't feel like she has um, 
buildup on her. She's nice and flowy. She's so I don't think she's any worse for not having been rinsed. If anything, I think it's possible that she's softer. So the violet that I washed, I had shared in my other video that this had been sitting in a wig store for a, a long time on the shelf, had been tried on a lot of times, and so it was really in need of a wash and was feeling dry. And this one feels really good too. Um, maybe not as, not as soft as this one. Close. Um, so I, I might try using this product without rinsing it, just like the Belle Madame. Just, it might coat the fibers just a little bit with the softness and might protect against friction. Um, again, time will tell and it's a, it's a learning process in it. And so I, you know, I can't say for sure, but I don't really tell any big difference. And this one actually smells a little bit nicer than this one. And it may be because I didn't wash the product out. I don't know. This one just kind of doesn't smell like much of anything. Um, and so I know that I had tried it on for you guys. Uh, when I first, I think in the first video I did, it's been a few days. And so let me try, first of all, I just want to tell you I have on, I think I've got Ren on, Aesthetica Ren. I got this from a wig sister. Um, she just gave it to me. It, ha it has been well loved, well loved. And so she sent it to me so I could check out the color, which is Caramel Kiss, and I hadn't had anything in that color yet. And check out Ren. And so she is, you know, she's well loved. She's a little frizzy, so I like to wear her. Um... I'm gonna wear her to the gym actually today. That's another video I'm gonna film today is gym wigs, um, but that's why I have her on. So I'll just take her off. I just have her in little pigtails. And I'll put Violet on. Um, so Violet was kind of all over the place. The curls were not terribly organized before I washed her and I don't feel they're terribly organized now either. So just washing her didn't do a whole lot. I, I, I'm probably gonna have to play with her a lot more. I haven't really had a Violet before. Um, she's really poofy and so I'm not sure that she's the wig for me in general. But what I can tell you is she feels softer. She feels less frizzy. Um, even though I wouldn't say that she, you know, like it revived the curls or anything. Uh, and I didn't do anything else. A lot of times I would. I would scrunch some product in. I, you know, I, if it didn't work the first time, I would put it on my head and I'd scrunch. So um, it, didn't, it wasn't magic. <laughs> but uh, again, Belle Madame is sort of hit or miss as to whether or not, often that's not all I have to do to revive a wig either. It's other products. So, you know, I, I would say right now, after just this one trial, I consider the Aesthetica products to have worked pretty similar to the Belle Madame products that I own. Um, the third wig I washed, which I didn't share in the first video, was my Finn. I have another video of Finn out there, my experimenting with color, trying to root, because this Finn is not the right color for me. And so Finn has been through an awful lot in her short life, unfortunately. Um, my husband, it drives him crazy when I talk about wigs in a pronoun like she, because they're wigs, they're it's. <laughs> um, so anyway, side note, but Finn has been washed a number of times already, only worn once. I did a uh, root with multiple furniture markers. And so in my video that I showed this last time, there was still some of the color left from the rooting, but I'd already washed it and I you know, was really afraid to ruin it if I keep washing it. Well, I decided I'll wash it in this product. More color did come out. And so I did a half rinse of this one. So I washed, I soaked, I actually soaked it for an hour and a half. I soaked it for a very long time and then I just very briefly rinsed it in the sink. Normally I take my wigs out, I take them to the shower and I rinse them down low with the handheld shower head that you can see up there and really rinse them well. Uh, and so I just had sort of ran it under the faucet in the sink ever so briefly, but I didn't give it a good rinse. And so I will say that she feels 
similar to how she felt after I washed uh, her in the Belmadam products the first time. So I don't feel that this product softened her fibers any more than they were, but it, they also don't feel worse. They just feel kind of the same to me. And so my takeaway then really is and at first blush, these products are good. I mean, I don't have any, I, you know, I, I'm really hesitant to go, they're awesome, they're great, because it was one time and we know one time isn't enough. So I'm gonna continue to use them. I don't see any reason not to. You know, I'm going to set aside my Belle Madame stuff for a little while and when I have to wash wigs, I'm gonna wash them with the Aesthetica products so that I can watch over time how my wigs are reacting. Do, you know, do my curly wigs seem to come back and be revived? Or do they seem to be just losing their curl a lot faster than I think they should? Um, you know, I have used a lot of different products to wash wigs and so I think there's a lot of good products out there for wig washing. It's really that conditioning piece that I think can be so tricky for us. Uh, because you know what's recoding these fibers and leaving them soft like when they first came and so that's the trick and so uh, so far I'm pleased I will tell you I didn't talk about this in the first video but I also have revitalize and shine it says it's a wig mist it adds weightless moisture and shine and so I have used this one a little bit and I really like how light it is and I love the fresh scent and it's not, it's not like oily. I don't think you can see that, but it's just, it's a fresh scent. And um, so I would say, you know, I use Simply Styling Serum on some of my curly wigs when they start to get dry. I love Envy Renew and Repair is another kind of an oily spray that I love to use on some of my curly wigs when they're getting dry. I don't know that this would replace those because it doesn't have that oily kind of coating. But what I do think this would be good for is refreshing your wig. So if, you're, if you've worn a wig a few times and you don't want to wash it yet, but you'd like to maybe freshen it up, sort of like a Febreze, that's what this seems like it could be good for. And then also maybe for just a little bit of frizzies. So if you, you want something a little less heavy than those other ones that I mentioned, you know, to tame the frizzies, you could use this, which will kind of do double duty of refreshing and taming the frizzies. Certainly water will tame frizzies as well. So it's kind of, are you looking for that little freshening um, effect? I have done that with fabric softener and water. And so that's always another option. Um, my experience with fabric softener has been really hit or miss. Um, first of all, it's very, most of them that are scented are very strong smelling. So if you're smell sensitive, you're gonna be smelling like a, a laundry hamper or not a dirty one, a clean ba laundry basket um, if you use fabric softener. And this isn't gonna do that to you. And I also sometimes find fabric softener does add weight to the hair. It can make it a little crunchy um, depending. And so this I haven't found has done that. And I've used it on my girl mono a couple of times since I got it. So. But the Aesthetica products so far, I'm giving them a thumbs up, knowing that I'm going to do some follow-up videos, but I, I, you know, I wouldn't steer you away from them at this point. And so if you're interested, Leanne at the Beauty Nook has them in stock, and she can certainly send you whatever you want to try. But if you're um, thinking there's no way that they can compare to Belle Madame, right now, I'm saying I think that they, there's a real possibility that they can. I just need a little bit more time with them because my opinion of Belle Madame has been built over time. So a few questions for me, let me know. I hope this was helpful. This got really long, so I apologize for that and take care you guys.